Blue Weekend is the latest album from Wolf Alice, who we're very happy to have back on the program. Theo, Joel, Ellie, Joff, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks for coming. We were just chatting off camera about how long it's been. It's been years. Yeah. And you guys already had a break scheduled, and obviously it got extended, right? You were going to take a pause on touring and whatnot after the last album cycle. You won the Mercury Prize, and you said, right, that's a nice way to end that chapter <laughs> or period of time. How have you handled the time in terms of not having the reception of fans and the live shows? Yeah, it's, I, I mean, we took, a, you know, we took a bit of a time away from things after the end of touring of Visions of a Life, which was the end of 2018. And then we went away and, you know, it was only like three months we kind of were separate from each other and then we started getting back into writing and stuff. But yeah, putting the album out and not being able to, putting the new record out, Blue Weekend, and not being able to see how people react to the songs in a room, that's been how we gauge whether a song is almost, you know, emotionally resonating or successful to us. So it's been really strange. It's been unique and we have had opportunities to kind of do other creative things like we made a music video for each song on the record um, with a director we really loved and that was a really great experience but I think we've all really missed doing this which is you know touring for like a, a good little bit of time like a, we were out here for a month and getting into the swing of things and playing shows every night and seeing you know how songs affect people in different places and you know yeah just get back to doing what we, we used to do for a long time. Was there any struggle in terms of the artist title really affecting you? Like, where, where's my applause? Where's my... An existential crisis through yeah. lack of being seen. Yeah. N me, not me personally, Ellie? No. No. Yeah, I've got like an uh, applause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's notable is, is that uh, with the release of this album, it kind of is a... Uh, a milestone for the band and the collective being together for quite some time, 10 years thereabouts. Did you have the moment to, to reflect on that, Ellie, Joff? I mean, yeah, I mean, as time goes by, you know, you do these kind of things and, you know, while it, this sounds so stupid, but you know, a couple of years ago we were saying, oh, we've been together for seven years or whatever, and now we're like, oh God, like 10 years creeping on 11, you know, it's quite a long time. It's quite a big, you know, a big chunk of our lives. We've spent together hanging out, making tunes. <laughs> Still as good a friends as we ever were, aren't we? Um, Ellie, when you first met up with Joff and you said, all right, we're doing this, because you were looking for a guitarist, right, at the time, and then you built this band, what was your vision then, and how do you see it now, looking back? Uh, I think, well, we always say that our aim was to play East London, <laughs> which was you know, the cool bit of London. And when it took us quite a long time to be fair that was my vision and i didn't look i didn't look beyond that i think coming to america was a huge thing for all of us to play to play and to come just as a tourist yeah so yeah you produced a video for every song on the album what were the seeds for that thought process and, and, and allowing that to germinate and and see it through whose idea was that what song kind of was the starting point for that well, we'd always wanted to do, it had always been a kind of chat that we'd had about doing song, uh, vi uh, uh, videos for songs that weren't necessarily the singles. Um, and we'd always kind of mentioned how we'd like to see videos that tied together, and, but we'd never had the time or the collaborators to really bring that to fruition until now. Um, when we, you know, were, were afforded a bit more time having no shows or whatever and meeting Jordan Hemingway who directed them all and having a good kind of working relationship with him and I think there are, Blue Weekend isn't a concept album but there are a lot of returning concepts and themes and visuals that return and it was nice to maybe draw that out with the visuals if you see what I mean yeah was there any thought in bringing some of those visuals to the live element yeah I mean there's opportunity it depends on how you want to do your mm. show you know we haven't used loads of video before but I suppose we have got you know you can it would be cool to maybe even do a live kind of blue weekend combine the two of those things there's lots of opportunity to kind of 
I feel like at this stage, like even when we go and play our acoustic songs now, we feel like we could do, you know, different renderings of Wolf Alice at the moment. So maybe we could do a, we could play to the re play to the film like they do when they wow. like have the orchestra plays to something. <laughs> we, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's loads of we've got. You know, Jordan's created so much amazing amazing imagery that hopefully we all get to explore that one day. I've always contended that your music would fit well for soundtracking any kind of movie. <laughs> hmm. If you guys could soundtrack a movie, I mean, would there be a movie out there that's that's something that's fit, fitting well, for Wolf Alice, something unmade or something, or that's, something that's already out there. <laughs> uh, oh God, what would be a, like? No. It's a good question, actually. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, what would we do? Do you know something about aliens? You want to decide? What about June? Okay, June. I, we'll thought, June, I, I thought you were going down a route of like psychedelic uh, rock version of uh, Star Wars or something. No, like, I was thinking like I don't know. Something. Is there? A, I'd like to actually know that soundtrack is so good that I wouldn't even talk about trying to us to do anything like that. I don't know. It's a really difficult question, but we definitely would love to. Do, you know, we're all mm. so stimulated by music to to motion pictures and to short films and stuff, and it's kind of where we draw a lot of inspiration just for making the actual songs. You know, we've been inspired by trailers and by moments in episodes of stuff we love. So I think we really would enjoy doing something like that yeah. if anyone's making a short film give us a shout i mean <laughs> or a film or whatever i'm all for it so yeah <laughs> i'll talk to whoever i can to, to help you guys <laughs> Do it. yeah great <laughs> i'm really looking forward to the show tonight and up until this point i've only seen videos online i think from the reading festival or something like that and play the greatest hits man you guys tore it up <laughs> like was that the intention when you recorded it? You're like, this is going to sound so great live. Yeah, I think so, a bit. We, that, that was like, you know, the, one of the songs in the studios. And even when we were making the demo, we were really like, this is going to be great to play live and really mm. exciting. And I think the key to it now is the fact that it starts with a siren. And if anything starts with a siren, I want to go mental. So hopefully, everyone, <laughs> as, and usually everyone else does. So it's really fun to play. Whose idea was it to do the cover of Bobby? by Alex G recently? I don't know, I think we're, we're all really big fans of mm. Alex G. And um, Joff, uh, Joel, Theo and I had gone to uh, a charity event where the people who were organizing it, they were big fans of country music. So we tried to learn some covers. And I think Bobby has a kind of country feel to it. So when we played it there, we were like, oh, we should do this again sometime. And mm. um, so yeah, when we had the opportunity to do another a cover a live cover where you chose that so yeah i'm sure you guys probably fool around and do it already but do you think that experience in particular may also help inspire more duetting between you and joel yeah i mean it's not the first time that joel and i've done duetting type songs and stuff and you know when especially in the live show joel's you're hardly not ever not singing are you really so Give it a good go. <laughs> <laughs> we tell him not to, but he just yeah. goes. Yeah. It's really <laughs> Even the bits I'm not supposed to, yeah. I really appreciate your time. Looking forward to the show tonight. Thank you. And uh, let's not wait another four years for this again. Yeah. 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 No, it's great to see you again. No, seriously. Thanks for always supporting us when we come through. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. It's more. Wolf Alice. Make sure you check out the latest album, Blue Weekend. You're watching B-Sides. Woo-hoo.